What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel ReefRx. Hope you all are having a great day. I'm gonna give you an update on the water box, update on the uh, innovative marine 40 gallon anemone tank, and then uh, I'll show you the Aptasia tanks and the Bergias and all that. So I don't have a lot of Bergias, I'm sold out of most of them. Um, thank you all for your support who reached out to me looking for Bergias. Um, I'll leave my email in the description here so you can email me for them. Um, I sell them on eBay as well, but I charge more on eBay. So if you're looking for Bergias locally, or not locally, but if you're looking for Bergias for me to ship to you and not through eBay, I can sell them to 50, for you to 15 bucks a piece. Um, and shipping is generally $45 for overnight. But um, I'm out right now, but I'll have more soon. Um, but back to the tank. So I'm um, gonna give you a quick overview here. I've um, got some updates to bring you, so I'm excited for that. So as always, if you enjoy my content, please help out the channel by sharing, liking, and subscribing to the channel. So. Um, Let's talk about my MP40 Vortec pump. So last time I uh, gave you guys an update, I told you this was making like a really loud noise. Um, I thought the bearing was starting to go on it. Um, I reached out to Ecotech support um, and they, even though this was out of warranty, so I figured instead of me trying to mess with them myself, let's see what they, what they say, right? So I sent it in, um, they got back to me and they said that the motor was stalling. They didn't see anything wrong with the bearing um, which is odd, but the motor was stalling. So they offered me um, to replace it. They replaced the uh, the wet side. I'm sorry, they replaced the dry side for, I think it was well, like 140 or 144, is around there. Um, so I said, yeah, sure, go ahead and do it. Now, when I sent this in, I did not send them the wet side because there was nothing wrong with the wet side. Um, and I knew that because I tried my other wet side from my other MP40, so um, paid them got a shipment in the mail i'm pretty sure they sent me a brand new pump or if it wasn't brand new it was refurbished it came with another wet side um so now i have an extra wet side which i think that usually sells for about 90 dollars. so um i feel like i got a great deal i mean I'm, I'm glad i sent it out for them to repair instead of trying to fix it myself so shout out to ecotech customer support you guys have always been great i've dealt with you before and uh nothing but the top notch so Got that pump back up and running. Um, the one on the left I have not been using and the reason I have not been using it is because I still have a few pieces of Aptasia left on this frag rack and I want the Burgess to get to it and I don't want to have them blown off by the, uh, if that pump's going. So there's literally, I think like two or three Aptasias left and, and that's it. So the Burgess have really done a nice job on um, cleaning up this tank. Um, another quick note, so if you notice a difference with quality of the video, um, I used to film with my GoPro, I think I had what's it called, a GoPro Hero 10. Um, I now have, a, um, I'm now filming with my iPhone, I bought a new iPhone, the iPhone uh, 14 Pro, which has 48 megapixel camera. I'm not really much of a camera guy, but I know that's a hell of a lot more than what I had on the GoPro or my old phone. So hopefully this quality is better. If you enjoy the quality more than the other videos, let me know in the comments. It make me feel better about spending $1,000 on the iPhone. So um, the tank is doing really well. Like I was saying, the Aptasia is um, pretty much cleared up out of everything uh, except for that frag rack. I'm going to start selling frags again, so um, I'll put them on my eBay link. So if you, I don't have any listed now. I just have Fido listed, but um, if you guys look for frags in the future, I'll have some soon. So. Everything's doing really good here. I just went away for a couple of days. Um, fish did fine, no worries there. And uh, I did get my recirculating skimmer cup um, thing from Fish of Hex that I ordered. Um, so I got that set up. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. I'm pretty disappointed with the media I have from BRS. I bought a one of those big bags. I don't know how many pounds or whatever it is, but I bought a big bag a while ago. And, oh, there's the Mandarin in the back. Can you see him? Um, I set up the recirculating skimmer and uh, the pH didn't nudge at all. If, any, if anything, it, honestly, it got worse. So um, I used to have the, the CO2 media on my, um, when it wasn't recirculating like a couple of years ago. And I bought media, I think it's from Two, two Little Fishes, I think that's what their company is called. And it did really well, but this time I decided to buy from um, the Bulk Reef Supply kind and I don't know if I got a defective batch or what but it doesn't work at all so um, I'm gonna buy some other media because I'm not happy with the one I have from BRS so and I bought it just I bought it years ago it had been sitting but it was vacuum sealed I never opened it so 
there's no expiration date on it so i'm not really sure what's going on but um so i got that set up tank's doing good um the tang is getting really big it's almost time to either a upgrade the tank or, or b get a new home for the tang um, nutrients i don't normally test nutrients in this tank um i maybe once every couple of months surprisingly i um, i'm on vacation this week or I should say last week so my vacation is nearing an end unfortunately but i did test the nutrients because i had nothing else to do and the nutrients were ultra low i was surprised of how low they were so my phosphates were 0 0.02 and then my nitrates were 0 0.03 so um which i thought they would have been higher but um i got the gfo i'm running on here i haven't replaced that media in a while so i don't even know if it's working or if it's exp um all used up and uh, but I got the reef mat I got rid of the fox face I got uh, the new Neptune grow refugium light so that was a huge upgrade from what I had before in my um, my macro algae has taken off so I really think all these things are, are helping um, so um, tanks looking really good super happy with it um, I just want to focus on bringing up the pH a little bit so um, all right, let's uh, let's check out the sump and uh, then we'll check out the other tanks and stuff. All right, here we are at the sump. Um, I actually just made a very detailed uh, sump video, um, mainly for beginners. Um, but if you want to get a detailed overview of my sump, um, I'll be posting that about a week after I post this video. So, um, but yeah, here's the sump. Sump's doing great. So this is the recirculating um, CO2 scrubber ring I got hooked up to it. Uh, and then it goes in the back there over around the corner it comes into this little container to catch any uh any um, skimmer that skim mate that comes in i don't want it to go into the media so it'll drop into this container and then it goes into the reactor here so i got a massive reactor from brs so and then it goes back out and back into the intake here so um yeah like i said so far nothing with the media because i think it's the media so um i gotta get some new media and hopefully we'll see a difference but um reef mat doing really good if you look in there oh yep if you look at the bottom i'm not sure if you can see but i got is a light there there's a burgia i get burgias caught in here all the time so i gotta take that burgia out before he doesn't make it but um just about nearing end of a roll i think i probably have a day left on this roll so I'm gonna change out that roll um, I get an alert on my phone when it's getting low and I also get an alert when the rolls um, is, is out so that's pretty cool um, yeah so I got the grow light on I just turned it on for this video so you guys could check it out but you can see the Kato like the growth is incredible um, there's just so much of it it grows so fast too um, really does a good job keeping the nutrients down um, for those of you that are new to the channel um, I did a um, whole sump modification here. I, this was a water box sump, or still is, but I took out all the inner baffles to add in the reef mat. I hooked up all this plumbing. I got these manifolds over here. So um, if you're interested in seeing how I did that, I'll put a card up here in the corner. Make sure to check out that video. Um, yeah, so that's about it for the sump. Um, nothing really new besides the uh, recirculating skimmer. I'll give you guys an update once I have an update, once I get new media and uh, we'll go check out the 40 gallon anemone tank. Before we head there, here's my, uh, my phytoculture. I sold some of that, so I'm a little low on that. Um, gotta start a new batch soon. If you're looking for phyto, click on the link on the eBay below, I got that. All right, here we are at the anemone tank. You can see my clownfish are hiding there between the anemones. Um, so I actually have, uh, I, I have an update on this tank too. So I was looking at the glass of the day before I cleaned it, and uh, oh yeah, I finally did clean that MP10. Um, head over there that was covered with bubble algae but it's covered again um but i was cleaning the glass and i saw these little things and i'm like uh oh and i look a little closer and what it was flatworms so i have uh the red flatworms in this tank um i had them years ago i used flatworm exit a couple of times which has never worked for me as good as i think it should i've had to do a couple treatments and usually double the dose but um anyways i saw the flatworms um, I thought the six line ras here are taking care of them, but uh, I hadn't seen them for years and years. I haven't introduced anything new into this tank. Um, so the popula population must have been pretty low and then they must have bounced back. So I got flatworms. Am I going to do anything about it? Probably not. 
Um, I don't have any acros in here that I'm worried about them eating or I'll just make sure not to transfer anything from this tank to, to my other tank over there. So um, probably gonna let it be. The other thing I wanna do is I wanna upgrade this tank. Um, I was talking to the wife about it the other day. I wanna upgrade this to a water box 60 point, is it two or three? I think it's 60.2. Um, I wanna sump. I don't like the all-in-one. That's the all-in-one's not for me. It's, I never do any maintenance to this tank, essentially, because it's a, it's a pain. Um, I don't even clean the, uh, there's a little carbon thing in there, but I don't even clean the um, the filter fl floss in there. You can see it's nasty. Um, so I'm terrible at maintenance with this tank. Um, I know nutrients are high. Water is not as clear as I would like it to be. I'd like to get a reef mat into this uh, tank if I upgrade. I want a Red Sea reef mat. Um, I want a bigger skimmer. So I, I already know like what I want to do with it, but... Um, I'm just not ready to spend the money right now, but I'm sure in the next six months I'll have it. So if I do, I'll give you, i definitely make some videos on that uh, because when I transfer everything, I will make sure there's no flat worms going to the tank. I'm not sure if I would want to start with all new rock or how I would do it um, because I wouldn't keep this tank. I would get rid of it. Um, so I'd, eventually this tank would go. I'd probably drain it, move it to the side over here, and then um, set up the new tank here, let it do its thing, cycle, and uh, go from there. But yeah, I wanna get that water box 60. It looks, uh, I saw it in person the other day, I stopped at Ocean State Aquatics, which is where I bought uh, that tank from over there, but Ocean State Aquatics in Rhode Island, they're awesome. Um, so I saw the tank in person, it's, essentially the same size but it looks bigger because it doesn't have this back chamber like it's it's a uh like i said it has a sump so it looks bigger so super excited hopefully getting that soon definitely will bring you an update on that um and are doing good here they continue to split um you can see the feet aren't fully uh on some of them like that one he's been moving around they've been moving around a lot so um they've been splitting a lot so but not really a whole much more of an update here on this tank. Let me show you, uh, I'll show you my Aptasia tank and then I'll show you the Bergia tank with the Bergias I have. All right, here's my little Bergia tank. Um, this is where I put all the eggs in here and I let them grow up. So um, you can't really see any right now. I do have some Bergias in the containers when I'm not like ready to ship them, but they're pretty small. So um, I, I got an inkbird heater on this. I don't know if I said this in the last video, but I got an inkbird heater um, on this just to control the uh, temperature and uh, to kind of see if they breed better and they grow faster and just a little experiment. So I don't really have much to show you with the Bergia tanks. So let's, let me go show you the Aptasia. All right, here we are at the Aptasia tank. Um, I did do a water change on the tank in the left the other day. I didn't have anything to clean the glass. So I couldn't even see in it, but now I got this little mag float. Um, this one's a big mag float. Um, and I thought all the Aptasia had, had died because of how bad the nutrients were. Like this tank was new. I don't, I put the Aptasia in there while it was cycling because anything to piss off the Aptasia more just kind of helps them. But after I did the water change, you can see some Aptasia in there looking pretty good. Um, not, as, not as heavily populated as I want it to be yet, but um, the tank on the right, this has been, if you've been following me for some time, you know this has been like the established tank. Um, good amount of Aptasia in there, uh, they're looking good. Uh, I did have an issue where I had Bergias in here, somehow I cross-contaminated Bergias into this tank and I have no idea how it happened because I've been so careful making sure it doesn't happen, but uh, it happened and I plucked like 40 big Bergias out of this tank. And then I did uh, a water change and I grabbed like a filter sock right here. So I did a water change, grabbed this filter sock to put the whole uh, hose in to try to catch any more Bergias. Um, since I've done that, I did, I did get, get a couple. I did that like four, maybe four weeks ago. But since I've done that, I haven't seen any Bergias in this tank and I've been checking a lot. Like I check throughout the night, not like 10 times a night, but like after the lights are out, I'll check. So I check like once or twice a day. Um, haven't seen any, so I, I'm, I'm confident I got the big ones, but I'm also confident they probably laid a thousand eggs, if not more, and I'm just waiting for those to hatch. I did have a six-line wrasse in here. Um, he didn't survive. Um, this is, and I, I won't name the place, but there's one place that I 
by it, have bought a lot of fish from it, and they never make it. Any other place, not a problem, so I'm not sure if the supply is just not that good from the place I buy from, but um, I gotta get another six line wrasse in here. And I have a lot of pods. Um, I got copal pods, ample pods. I got huge ample pods on the bottom here. Like if I start moving something around, you can see them run around. But uh, yeah, the Aptasia's doing good. Been feeding this tank. Population's doing pretty good. And I've been plucking quite a few out of here a day to feed the Bergias. But now that I'm mostly sold out of Bergias, um, it'll give this Aptasia some more time to grow in more. One of the uh, viewers that was watching um, my last video, you recommended to put some like PVC across the top and some like sheets in. That was a phenomenal idea, and I'm definitely going to do that. I just haven't had the time um, to get that all set up, but I'm definitely going to do something like that uh, going forward. So that's, I think that's everything, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, uh, you can help off the channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing the videos. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, make sure to check out the link on the bottom for my eBay. If you're looking for Fido, or I'll have uh, frags on there soon or Bergia, so you can also email me. I'll put the email in the description. But uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will catch up with you soon.